Sei Shonagon as a Fate series character showed is a rather eccentric one in my opinion in terms of the character design. An umbrella, a luxury handbag, and these hipster looking sunglasses which kind of reminds me of Hello and welcome back to Exclude Gane Blog and Photography. I'm Steven with a very short and simple price figure review for the day. We are looking at Furio's Servant Figure Series Sei Shonagon and Archer Class Servant in a Fate Grand Order franchise. This is a very new release. She has just came out more than a week ago in early June and I bought her off the Chinese e-commerce website Taobao where she just arrived a few days ago. Sei Shonagon as a FGO character, well, she is a very niche character and even I myself as a fan of the Fate series, I don't know that much about her but I certainly am very happy to see press figure companies making figures of niche characters from a niche franchise because they tend to focus on all the mainstream stuff hundreds of Mikos with zero figures and so on. So this is very refreshing to see and I hope they do make more FGO stuff, all of those less known characters. As usual, we will take a quick glance at her box. This is what her box looks like and as you can see, fairly oversized for such a small price figure. And yeah, the courier smashed up my box again, but I suppose that this is a price figure. I can overlook this. And since this is international shipping, I guess this does not count as domestic violence unlike what happened to Johnny Depp. <laughs> anyway, let's just toss the box aside. Alright, so as I mentioned, this is a very small figure. She is about 18 centimeters tall. The best way to compare it is to place my phone next to her. As you can see, she is about the size of my smartphone. Well, if you don't include the base, that is. For 15, 20 US dollars, we can't complain much about the quality, but I'm happy to report that her face is very well made, very accurate to what we see in the original artwork of this character. So there are no face problems over here, fortunately. And everything else about the figure, the sculpt, is very close to what we saw in the prototype or official product photos. But yeah, the paint job can be better, of course. I have seen better press figures in terms of paint job from Furio itself. I think I might be setting my expectations a bit too high given the small size of this figure. There isn't much detail or accuracy that can be packed into such a small figure at a low price point. So you do get what you pay for, but this is very decent, to be honest. No major flaws like scratches or paint smudges, very minimal paint bleeding. It is there, such as on the front of the bangs of her hair, but really you can't ask for more at this price. With price figures, as long I see the face and the head overall is very well made, to me that is already a very good purchase. So there really isn't much to talk about this figure. But there are two things that kind of annoy me or I would say you have to be very careful with. The first thing is due to the small size of this figure, there are a few very fragile parts, especially the first one being her neck. I have no idea if this is due to the material or due to heat exposure. Her head is kind of very soft, very flexible as you can see. So this is kind of scary, maybe I will put this figure in the freezer for about 10 minutes and see whether the material hardens up a bit. Usually it helps a lot. And the second thing are the foot pads in both legs, extremely thin and long, very fragile looking. Well, I have already induced a very small crack on one of the foot pads just from trying to unplug the figure from the base. So that is one thing you should be very careful about. Not that Furio could do much when her foot is so thin itself, so the pecs had to be small. The umbrella slips into her left hand nicely, not too tight, not too loose either. 
So overall, this is a pretty decent price figure all in all. There are no other Sei Shonagon figures in the figure market yet. Though Fat Company did announce a scale figure of her, but God knows when that figure will come out. As a conclusion, should you go for this price figure of Sei Shonagon? As a fan of the Fate series, yeah, just not ask any questions and go for it, especially if you want to purchase a number of figures, a few figures, then maybe throw this one into your shopping cart and combine ship together. For such a low price figure, not very wise to ship single item, especially when international shipping is so expensive nowadays. So this figure is best purchased in a way where you combine her with other items. That is all about today's figure review of Sei Shonagon. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys again soon. Goodbye.